Hey there, you're watching Cartel TV and I'm Jenna. Today, I have something that not many city folk would drive. It's not classy, it's certainly not beautiful or refined. Other than the fact that I look cute in this top, why am I reviewing this? It's the Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series Single Cab GX. It's the best sold of the lot and it has one purpose, beating off-road terrains. It's got 16-inch alloys, hood scoop and halogen headlamps. That's it. It's rugged and boxy. Definitely not a design milestone. Even the underpronounced looks give the feeling of confidence and durability. Pretty much everything on it is designed to not look good, but rather to be as functional as possible. And a good example of that is the basic boxy side mirrors. In terms of looks, I get it now. The purpose of this year is to carry things and take you places, not look pretty. Now the engine, that's amazing. It's the latest updated version, which is a 4.5 litre V8 common rail turbo diesel with piezo injectors and DPF, both of which noticeably reduce fuel consumption, which now stands at the average of 10.7 litres per 100 kilometres. Combine this with a 130 litre fuel tank and you can safely go off the beaten track. I haven't even come close to explaining the engine properly. In order to do so, I'll have to get behind the wheel. The power, it's rated at 151 kilowatts from 3,400 revs. That's enough power for a confident push on and off-road. However, the torque figure of 430 newton meters at as low as 1,200 revs make this a joy to drive on any kind of terrain. Just press the pedal and the diesel twisting force gives reassuring feedback. The engine is paired with a five-speed manual. This is great because it gives you complete control over the transmission, and that's important for extremely rough terrains. The second and fifth gears are longer. This is why the fifth provides a relaxing highway drive at higher speeds without stressing the engine or the ears of the people inside. But even then, it's not a quiet place at high speeds. It looks as if it's been designed with an axe, so its boxy shape is not very good at dealing with wind noise. But once you get it off the asphalt, you'll see why this car has been the off-road legend for more than three decades. Toyota claims to have tested the latest model for more than 100,000 kilometers on the worst terrains, over steep inclines and hellish descents, through mud and high water, and this Land Cruiser passed with flying colors. Aside from the perfectly set up suspension, the Land Cruiser also has front and rear locking differentials. Its four vented discs provide more than enough stopping power and they are aided by absolutely spectacular engine braking. Steering is based on recirculating ball and nut and it gives great feedback which is much needed on rough roads. Off-road, it's incredibly interesting and capable. In more civilised conditions, it's sufficient. Just don't expect city-friendly or sports car features. Practicality, that's the point. And Toyota either hits the nail on the head or takes it a step too far. It's very simple, well thought up and easy to use. The air vents are as high as they can be and they do look a bit quirky, but they are more than practical. But inside there are a lot of features that I didn't even know were available in 2017 vehicles. Actually, am I even right in saying they are features or is it more lack of features? Some of my not so favorites are the wind up windows and the fact you have to use the key to lock and unlock the doors. Now Toyota, that's just being rude. The central column is very wide and it hosts the handbrake, levers and surprisingly, just one cup holder. Snow doesn't need a cup holder. Other features include lockable glove box and Bluetooth connectivity. Even though the interior can be considered spartan, everything is easy to use and durable. The bucket seats provide great support even when the going gets rough. This single cab has a 5 star ANCAP, stronger frames, Five airbags for two people, including curtain and driver's knee, cruise control, auto locking hub, and heel start assist. Now when you Americans call this ute a truck, you'll actually be kind of right for once. Towing capacity is listed at 3.5 tonnes. This ute slash truck and its legendary reputation carry a price of $65,000. I guess the price is a good testament to its capabilities. If you're looking for a cool, good-looking, sporty or cheap vehicle, look elsewhere. If you're looking for a more durable, all-terrain conquering machine that can deliver heavy or bulky loads where nothing else can, then the Land Cruiser 70 Series is for you. Thanks for watching Cartel TV. And remember, relationship, next level, subscription.